With The Division 2 releasing this week, I decided to head back to The Division 1 to bring you 25 easter eggs, secrets or references. With this video, I'm pretty certain I've covered most of the easter eggs in the game, but in case I have missed one, the best place to let me know is on Twitter or Instagram, the link to both will be in the description and in my pinned comment. So without further delay, let's get started. As usual, we'll start small. Just outside the HQ, you can find a wall with various references to TV shows and films. First up is this picture here. What do you think this one is referencing? If you guessed the Joker from the Dark Knight, then give yourself a pat on the back. This next one should need no explanation. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub is a line from the TV show Rick and Morty. Finally, this poster is a reference to the famous author and Ubisoft collaborator Tom Clancy. Sadly, Tom Clancy passed away in 2013. Moving on to a couple of posters that contain references now, let's see if you can guess which movie this poster is referencing. If you guess the Matt Damon film The Martian, then give yourself another pat on the back. You can also find a billboard which references Sons of Anarchy. Now, a lot of references can be found in the echoes that are scattered throughout New York. The first one is a reference to Nathan Drake and the Uncharted series. This is your final warning. Comply or you will be forcefully removed. You have no right to do this. Shoot her. Son of a bitch! In case you missed it, the character in the Echo is named Nate Dragon, which is pretty similar to Nathan Drake, sort of, and his occupation is historian. He's also wanted for questioning around some high profile museum thefts. Definitely sounds like Nathan Drake. In this Echo, you can find two characters called Jonathan Pinkman and William White, references to Jesse Pinkman and Walter White from Breaking Bad. This echo is probably my favourite. Shit! They found us! We're so dead! Quick, through here. What? Over the fences? What's the matter, Deborah? Never taken a shortcut before? Uh, ah! So this one is a reference to a scene found in Shaun the Dead. A similar scene can also be found in Hot Fuzz and The World's End, the other two films that make up the Cornetto trilogy. I've never taken a shortcut before. The final echo is one that's up for debate. This echo contains a name which may seem familiar. See if you can spot it. Here, make it last, okay? This food belongs to us now. Drop the goods and get the hell out of my sight. Pack this up. We're taking the garden next. So the familiar name was Greg Miller, former IGN editor and now a central figure on the YouTube channel Kinda Funny Games. I'm not sure if the name is intentional or just a coincidence, let me know what you think. So New York is home to many fictional characters, Spider-Man, Luke Cage, Daredevil and of course who could forget, Big Bird from Sesame Street. And this time it's actually not a joke, Sesame Street is apparently situated in New York. The characters referenced in The Division are none of those, instead we can find references to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Up first we have Michelangelo's Nunchucks.
Leonardo's katana. Raphael size. And Donatello's bow staff. Notice how all of the weapons have a pizza box near them too, just to hammer the reference home. Okay, so it wouldn't be a Ubisoft game if they didn't cram in a ton of references to their other games. At the Division HQ, you can find these. These night vision goggles are the same goggles Sam Fisher wears in the Splinter Cell series. At various locations throughout the game, you can find these board games. So Grow Home is a pretty good game developed by Ubisoft and the other board game is a reference to Raven Rabbids who have appeared in tons of games at this point, even starring in a game with Mario. If the Grow Home board game seem vague, I wonder how many of you will get this reference. So this car is a reference to the Ubisoft Reflections game, Driver San Francisco. As I said, pretty vague, but if you've never played the game, it's definitely worth checking out. This next easter egg is peak Ubisoft. At this location, you can find this. Yep. Ubisoft even put a Ubisoft office in the game. In the office you can find more Grow Home references and a For Honor poster on the wall. It's worth noting that at this point For Honor hadn't released. This next easter egg is a small one but a cool one. You know the Coca Cola advert you see at Christmas with the Coke truck? Well you can find a very similar looking truck in the division. This one is up for debate, but I personally think it's referencing the iconic truck. So as with the last easter egg, this next easter egg is a little contentious. I'm pretty sure it's an easter egg, but I want to see what you think. I'll play the clip and I want you to tell me what's the first thing you think it could be referencing. So what do you think? I'm almost certain that this giant pink donut is a reference to The Simpsons and Homer's love of donuts. What do you guys think? Up next is one of my favourite easter eggs in the game. During the Lexington Event Centre mission you can find this. This scene is a reference to the Weeping Angels from Doctor Who. Now I would share a clip of them here, but the BBC are dicks and won't allow me to use even 3 seconds of a Doctor Who episode without copyright claiming the entire video. Apologies for that. Moving on to even more pop culture references now, at this location you can find this mural. This is a reference to the Cartoon Network show, Adventure Time. Do you know the first rule of Fight Club? You do not talk about Fight Club. Well, to be fair, Ubisoft didn't actually talk about it, but they did reference it here. If you aren't familiar, here's a clip from the film. Did you know if you mix equal parts of gasoline and frozen orange juice concentrate, you can make napalm? No, I did not know that. Is that true? That's right. Up next is a reference to the Will Smith film, I Am Legend. So this entire area is a reference to this scene from the film. Notice how the mannequins look almost identical and are in the same location in New York. The 
The final easter egg for today is a reference to Mr Bean. In the city you can find this. So this is a reference to an episode of Mr Bean called Do It Yourself Mr Bean where Mr Bean ties a chair to the roof of his car. So that's it, 25 easter egg secrets and references in The Division. As I said, if you think I've missed something here then please let me know on Twitter or Instagram, the links are in the description and in my pinned comment. If you enjoyed the video then a like is really appreciated, thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.